Who did okay, I marry I explained? Who did I marry? Um, I'm going to start a series on this, okay? Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because as you all are aware, I started a mentorship. It is going phenomenal. Um, I am under heavy attack. I will say that. However, God gave me Joshua 1 and 9 today, and it just made me have so much joy. And so the reason why I'm posting these uh, videos is number one, so you'll know what it's like mentoring with me. You'll understand what it's really truly means to actually get your life together. I interview people and I tell them that you will be under a spiritual microscope, and that is no lie. Okay. This is someone I interviewed and I remember her in the interview and she kept bragging about how much she fasts, how much, you know, she uh, spends time with the with God. OK, and so the whole time she's talking to me, God is revealing to me that she does not really know who I am. OK, I want to tell you all something and I don't know why um, no one has ever told you this, but you need to know what's going on in your marriage. And if you come under me, you'll find out. You may not like what you find out, but I will expose it, okay? And so I told her today, I gave her strict instructions on what to do. I said, do not come back until you get an answer. Okay, here we go. When Apostle Genesis called me religious, the reason why I call people religious, I've done teachings on this. She's been following me for a very long time, and she said she didn't know. She should know. When I call people religious, because that's what most of the church people are, they're very religious. They have zero power, but they are like Pharisees. They always speak the word of God, okay? And they talk about how they fast and they do all of these things, but they have zero power. I didn't take any offense. I was honestly confused um, as to why. So I asked God to help me understand so I could better myself. Now I see and understand why. I was called religious and why my fasting and homework was done incorrectly. Here's the thing. When you're doing the homework correctly, there will be no stone unturned. She gave me instructions to meditate on Ephesians 5 and 11 in the English Standard Version and said it was my portion. Oh, yes. And that God wants to reveal many things about my spouse. Yes. God revealed that my spouse is highly a sexual person. He has low self-esteem, even though he doesn't show it. He compares himself a lot. That's low self-esteem right there. Um, it bothers him that I don't have a relationship with his family. He did regret marrying me in the past because he wished my relationship with his family was better. Um, he still watches, uh, adult sexual movies after he told me he stopped. Um, and his female cousins are five years old apart, which his cousin is older than him had touched, uh, each other. Um, they were little, he did witchcraft. He came in blood covenant with someone had sex while she was on her menstrual cycle. Um, adultery, um, masturbating. I did speak to my husband and he confirmed everything. Number one, I applaud him because I really like the fact that he told the truth. Because, baby, I just dealt with a person that was in not my group. I removed her, though. Um, she confessed to everything and turned around and said that she got it from a movie. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. All right. Well, um, and the reason why we're doing this is because um, of the type of plucking that it takes to get close to God. Okay. So there is a refining process that we all must go through. All right. There is a process that God wants to take each and every one of us through, even in your marriage. This is not the end of their marriage. This is actually the beginning. Okay. Because now all of these things are coming up. Now you both need to go to God in prayer and fasting and work on correcting this. Okay. Now this is the case for this situation. So it's a case by case basis in all honesty. And so I wanted to speak on this because there's so many people um, that are in very toxic marriages. The foundation of the marriage is very toxic and you're not doing anything anything about it. One of the things that I would recommend you do is take Ephesians 5 and 11 in the English Standard Version and ask God, who did you marry? 